Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen Restaurant Edition. I'm your host, Nicole Gaffney, and we're here today at Nordon Preferred Kitchen Equipment Studios, and I've got Chef Michael Giletto of Cater to you. Hi, Mike. Good afternoon. Thanks How for are being you? here. I'm great, thank you. Now, what are we making today? Today, we're going to do a cioppino, and we're going to do a, a flip on it. It's, used, it's a Mediterranean dish. It's popular in San Francisco. It's popular in South Philly. So I figured it's a classic dish. It's a comfort food dish. So I like it and I brought it to the show. Great. Plus we're gonna do a little salad. Salad's gonna be a radicchio and green leaf with grilled the breast of duck, okay? And we're gonna have a balsamic fig glaze on top. Wonderful. And I'd like to get started. Let's do it. Okay. This is an induction range. These are great little pieces. It's beautiful equipment in here. Let's see if this is getting started. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, it's all brand new. And we're starting with the cioppino? We're going to start with the cioppino. Why this is uh, coming alive. Mm -hmm. I'm going to grill the duck, get that ready for us. And the cioppino, I want to put a little butter. And I use the sweet butter not a salted butter. Why do you do that? Well, I'm gonna add salt to it later, so. Mm -hmm. Especially, rather... seafood tends to be kind of salty, right? It comes from the ocean. Salt water. Exactly. Put a little oil in here, so the butter does not burn. Mm -hmm. Just a touch. You can hear it. It's starting to sizzle, yep. We want the sizzle. That's right. We like the sizzle. Not cooking without a little sizzle. This is true. break that up so it goes a little faster. So tell me about Cater to You. Cater to You is a family business. Mm -hmm. We've been, I've been in the business since my mother and father had a restaurant called Giletto's Ranco Casin since 1966. Wow. This is my 49th year. It's a long time. You're coming up to a big one, a milestone next year. If I make it. Oh, I'm sure you will. So you've got some garlic, red onion, and shallot have, sweating out? I have a teaspoon of garlic. I have some onions, okay? Do you always use, like to use red onions for this? I like the color. Mm -hmm. uh, and shallots. And just as soon as the aroma comes up from that. It smells great. And it gets a little translucent with the uh, onions. That's what we want. We want the smell. We want that mm -hmm. mixture. Then I'm going to add my clams and mussels. All right. Now, smell that. Oh, it smells wonderful. Nothing better than garlic and onions cooking in olive oil Clears and butter. Clears you up, too. You won't have any sinus problems after you sniff that for a while. And we're going to cover it. We want that steam. Now we're going to perk our duck breast. Look at this grill. It's gorgeous. All right, why don't you come over here? and grill up this duck breast. Now notice this doesn't have any skin on it. This is skinless, this is all meat. This is farm raised. Mm -hmm. uh, duck in the wild is very nice, but this doesn't give you that gamey flavor. Right. Okay. It's not quite as red either. No. You want this to be a really high grill? I want to sear it. Okay, so you want a nice I high heat. I want that juice in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want to leave some marks on it because it's going to be presentation. Everybody eats with their eyes. That's right. Before you eat with your tongue. But we want those flavors. This is marinated mm -hmm. for, for an hour. What'd you marinate that in? Well, olive oil and a Mexican uh, Southwestern okay. seasoning. A little cumin, a little salt, pepper, sure. garlic. You can smell that cumin. Yeah. There we go. So we're just gonna let that hang out and do its thing? We're gonna let it hang out and do its thing, Great. yes. Stay tuned for more with Chef Michael Giletto. We now return to the Chef's Kitchen at Nordon Preferred Kitchen Equipment Studio. Now, this is coming alive. See those starting to open right up? Ah, uh, they're beautiful. Okay, we're gonna add some celery. Mm -hmm. About a quarter cup, half a cup, all depends how much you like. And is this a pretty traditional cioppino? It's a traditional cioppino, yes. Got a little lemon. 
just a wee bit. We're going to squeeze it on this pan so I can get the seeds and everything. Well, that's an interesting technique. It's the only one I had. It's kind of ad lib. So you always squeeze your lemons into a pan first so you can strain the I seeds out? I squeeze them into a bowl mm -hmm. and a strainer. Yes. We don't want to be chewing on any seeds. No, it's never pleasant. Right. There we go. Lemon's so great with seafood. Yes, ma'am. Cleans your hands, too. Yeah, it does. Takes that garlicky smell off. Takes the seafood smell out of there, too. That's a good point. Okay. Now, the hardest stuff that's going to cook mm, is the yum. biggest nice king, king crab. crab. Yeah, yes, some of my favorite. Lobster, too. Ooh, lobster. We got everything going in here. Yes. Now, lobster, very easy to cut. Mm -hmm. Some people like to cut it on the shell side. Me, I prefer it on the belly side. Cut it down, spread it like that. And this is the lobster's raw? The lobster is mm -hmm. raw. And the, but the king crab is usually already cooked? Well, sometimes, but today it is. But I like to use fresh yep. right, off the, right out of the bag. Now, we just peel this out. And you got to get your finger underneath the membrane and just okay. slightly pull it. You don't want to rip it apart. You now, want are you this taking the meat totally out of the shell? Out of the shell. And you're not going to use that shell for anything? I don't need it. No. Not today. All right. You Today's can save a, that to make a, a bisque. No shell day. Okay. All right. So Makes it much easier to eat that way. They're going to be the longest to cook. Now I want to add some color. I got a. Got a half tomatoes and chipino. Half a cup of tomatoes. Some red pepper. Mmm. Okay, we're going to reserve these two for the salad. Okay. And we'll season a little parsley, mm -hmm. fresh Italian parsley. Going to use a little piece, a couple pieces of basil. We're making this for two. This is for two? This is for two. Oh God, this is enough to feed a family. Yeah, this is true. But we have a lot of big appetites. I imagine big you appetite. must have pretty large portions at Cater to You. We do. We like to brag that we don't run out of food. That's a good so thing. It's tough with catering. When we're doing catering jobs, we always guarantee people we will not run out of food. There might be one dish that everybody hits. This is red pepper flakes. Gives okay. a little tang. Love that. What kind of catering do you typically do? Well, our catering company was called Cater to You because that's what we do. Mm -hmm. We cater to our, our clients. Whatever they wish to have, we'll do, okay? From christenings to bereavement. Uh, we do weddings. We do film industry. Oh, really? That's basil, oregano. Done and anything? White, white pepper. Anything fun in the film industry? We did, a, it's all fun. Of course, I know. I'm not, I'm not on this side of the camera, I'm on that side of the camera. <laughs> the, um, we I have like done, uh, I was the, Designing chef for Silver Lining Playbook. Oh, great Philadelphia okay. movie. Yes, ma'am. Excuse me. We did So You Think You Can Dance. We did shows at a restaurant. Reality shows, Inc. Very cool. Now, what's the biggest event that you can cater? We do up to 1,500 people. 1,500? Yes. That's massive. That's a couple things in the bucket. Yeah, seriously. And you're a full service catering company. You can take we care are. of everything. Yes. Now, we're going to get started on the shrimp and the scallops are mm -hmm. going to go in last. You've got them already cleaned. They're already cleaned. Great. They're ready to go. And we're going to start on the salad. All right. Okay. This is a very nice pear. It's a Korean pear. Those are so nice and crisp and refreshing, aren't they? Radicchio. Nice bitter do. greens to kind of go against Correct. that sweet pear. We're just going to tear it up. Love using your hands, don't you? It's the best tool you have as a chef. Well, see, I was blessed by the Pope. Really? With my hands. So all the flavor that I have come from these fingers. Absolutely. Now me, I'm not working anymore. Now I give the business to my son. Oh, is that right? The only thing I do is play golf and 
Hang come at, on TV shows? Hang at the beach. Stay tuned for more from the Chef's Kitchen Restaurant Edition. This kitchen is amazing. They have everything. Everything that I need is here. This is the best kitchen I cooked in on, on television since I've been doing it. It's a family business. I have my wife there, mm -hmm. I have my daughter, mm -hmm. Corinne, and I have my son, Carmen. And he's been doing it since he was about 10. Oh, wow. And he's 30 now. And my daughter, Corinne, is expecting her first child. Congratulations. That'll be our third grandchild. That's fantastic. Okay. And I'm sure they'll get into the business as well once they're old enough. Well, the little guys are great because they get the stuff that are real low. Mm -hmm. So we can send them in there, <laughs> get everything. Just and how far out design. do you go when you cater? I mean, I know you're based out of Mount Laurel. Do you go into Philadelphia and other parts of New Jersey? We have a 50-mile radius okay. from our company, but we have been to New York, Washington, D.C. Wow. I've been hired to do weddings out in the Midwest. Really? So, yes. I love this stuff. Fresh chives are my favorite chives. herb. They're just mildly oniony. Not too much. Yep. So if somebody starts giving you a story, tell them not to chive you. <laughs> We're just going to sprinkle that on top. Very nice. Right. What kind of a dressing do you have for that? We did a reduction mm -hmm. of balsamic and figs. Very nice. That's the sweetness. Now we're going to add our scallops. Man, that smells great. It smells fantastic. So fresh, too. All of that seafood, none of it smells like fish, you know? It just smells like the ocean, bright and clean. Put a little redness in here. Nice color. Just to perk it up. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you eat with vision is everything in culinary arts. That's right. And that's why I like it, because it's culinary arts. It's everybody is correct. Nobody's wrong in a culinary arts. This is true. Arts. It's because it's an art. Right. Now, if you're a baker, now that's a science. science. I, I never got along with science. No? No, oh, ma'am. We're going to add some fresh pecans. Mm, now, do you toast them first? I did not. Mm -hmm. These just come right out of the bag. You can toast them. You can sugar coat them. OK. We just want to drizzle the balsamic glaze. <clears throat> Let me have your finger for a minute. My finger? Your finger. Mmm. Yum. Now. Do you use fresh figs for this to reduce them uh, down? Well, it depends on the season, mm -hmm. yes. I will use fresh figs. And we can make a lot ahead of time Sure. for this. And then you just strain out the seeds and the pulp and get this. Yes, ma'am. Beautiful. Now, do you use any kind of olive oil or anything else on the salad no. or just the, the reduction? Just the reduction itself because of the bitterness of the greens. Mm -hmm. That's what we want. Nice. Nice. Good presentation. Wonderful. Put that over to Put our to the eating tasting table. area. It's almost there. You notice that I was pushing it. The reason you're pushing it is because rare, mm -hmm. more give, medium, less give, well, no give. So we're getting give over here, so we're right there, right where I want to be. So we're just at medium, medium, rare. Correct. Excellent. We're going to need some bread. For the chipino. Oh, totally. You need something to sop up all of that juice. Yes, ma'am. We'll get a couple pieces cut ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Are you going to grill the bread? I was thinking about putting a little garlic and oil on it mm -hmm. and then grilling it. Yes, ma'am. Sounds good to me. Okay. I love grilling bread. It gives it such nice flavor, and you still have a, a nice soft inside to sop everything up. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to steal a spoon. Sure. And we're going to turn this down. We don't want Think everything's almost it. just about cooked in there? So that right. Looks so like right. it to me. The shrimp is pink, scallops mm -hmm. are white, all the seafood is done. We can plate this up, we'll get it off the flame. Great. And in the meantime, we'll get a spoon out of here so I can put a little oil and then garlic. Yeah. Just want to rub the 
garlic on mm. it to get the nice flavor. Mm -hmm. You could just push that in there. And we want to toast these just a little bit. Perfect. Great. Gonna let that rest a little bit. I am. It didn't do anything, but it's got a heck of a workout just laying there. <laughs> Sometimes these get a little stuck. Mm -hmm. Just pick them up and move them. Mm, I can smell that garlic hitting the heat. It smells great. Stay tuned for more from Nordon Preferred Kitchen Equipment. Well, the new restaurant addition Chef's Kitchen is great. I feel like uh, I've grown up here, and I feel like, you know, I'm coming back to sort of a new and improved kitchen. I wish this was my home kitchen. The great thing about the induction range, it's never hot. Exactly. But it's always working. It's great if you have kids. Yum. I'm gonna cheat a little. Why is that? Because this is a great device. That's not cheating. To get everything out. Mmm. I'm gonna go right for that crab claw first. Okay. Oh, there's one there too. Now this isn't quite as tomatoey as a lot of the chipinos that I'm familiar with. It's got almost really a white broth. Yes, ma'am. Is that more Philadelphia style than San Francisco? That's more Mike style. All right. It's more catered to you style? Yes, ma'am. Love it. To get this finished, what we're going to do is put the broth back on the flame. OK. I'm going to add a little white wine mm -hmm. and some shrimp base. I use the dry white wine, Nicole. OK. Like a Pinot Grigio or? Actually, a Chardonnay. Chardonnay. Yeah. About a cup. Mm-hmm. And then shrimp stock. Shrimp stock is peelings from the shrimp. We don't need that much. Cook those down a little bit. Yes. We're going to bring that to a boil. And our bread's just about done here, too. Good. Been keeping an eye on it. Mm. Let's turn this over. Mm -hmm. Let's go this way. <clears throat> Chef, we need an extra plate for the duck, or is that going to go right on top That's of That's going right on top of the, the salad? Uh, yes, ma'am. Right. Do a little garnish. Make a crown. Using your garmanger skills? Garmanger skills. <laughs> Look at that. Mm -hmm. So pretty. And this way your, your guests or your clients can take that. Okay. Take this off. Lower the flame. Just pour it over top. This is a comfort food. Big time. This is a classical dish. You can do it however you want. It's your kitchen. You can do it any way you would like, yes. I want to do it just like this because this looks incredible. Good. There you go. I'm just going to get that duck on the salad and we're ready to go, huh? Yes, ma'am. Very nice. And we could pair this with a pale ale. Oh, nice. And we could pair this with any kind of white wine, Pinot Grigio. Mm-hmm. I'd go for that pale ale. Nothing sweet because mm -hmm. we are, we already have the sweetness with the balsamic. Oh, that's a very good point. And this is something, both of these dishes that you serve up at Cater to You? Yes, ma'am. Great. Oh, and we just have to get the bread on here, I think. That's my favorite part. Great. All right, Chef. Here's a nice IPA. Cheers. Salud. Mmm. That's great.
I'm going to dig into the strapino. Knock your socks off. Thanks. I don't even know what to go for first. I think I'll get go in here with the top. clam. Mmm. Cooked perfectly. You have to taste this too. You have to get in there. I Come taste on. All the time. Oh, I know, but get in. It's too good not to. Yeah. I'll ruin, the bread. I'll ruin my girlish figure. Oh, please. Mmm. I'm going to take one bite of the salad too. I can't not taste this. Fantastic. I love just a little bit of that balsamic reduction on there. It's great. Don't need All much. Right. Sometimes less is more. Say salute one more time. Salute. Thank you for being here, Chef. You're welcome.